at all. I have no faith in our electoral process anymore. Uh, but with that being said, Hutch, I think you're 100% right. You said shadow government. And I think this is 100% a peaceful transfer of power outside of the United States. Look at what Americans have put up with. Americans work. have stood. We, we, look, the Haley voters that I do... The, the Haley voters that I do know up here in New Hampshire are the older ones, the boomers who watch Fox News. Um, and they're the ones who will like wear the NRA shirts and they'll be proud of their guns and all of that. But they won't do anything. They won't do anything. They're standing in line to vote, leaning against the wall because they can't even stand up straight. Like they're not fit to fight. And the thing <laughs> is, is like, what, what, have it, what has America watched? What has America watched since this election got stolen from us? We've watched our president <laughs> fall over and over and over and over and over and over again. He doesn't speak English anymore. He He's a mental patient, we get Bernie's puppet of the United States of America. This is the leader of the United States of America. So we're watching like taxes increase, inflation, people can't get employees people can't get jobs there's there's a, a, a literal invasion at the southern border and these governors are complicit in trafficking these people further into the country instead of mm -hmm. get kicking right. them right back out right so like we're being betrayed by red and blue we're being betrayed by both sides even the most mega people seem to be setting us up like lambs to the slaughter. So here's the thing is like, Hutch, you mentioned all these people that are crooked and corrupt so blatantly in the administration. It's because they're. this is the signal to the global elites that America has fallen and look, we did it without spilling any blood. And where mm -hmm. some of them started to act up a little bit, we have our ready-made guerrilla warfare in the cities ready to burn ground and get people scared yep. back into their homes like this is crazy this is crazy and the thing is, is like we are americans who hold our guns and we'll say we love jesus we love america 1776 we'll say that but then we go ah, don't call me racist though exactly ah! exactly right right that with right. six and stones right. may break my bones but names are gonna kill me <laughs> right please hey An wake up hey, angel i gotta ask Sorry, i'm the most black pilled person on this forum <laughs> you know, you know, no, no, I, I think I beat you. I'm trying to figure out what is the next thing they drop on us that is that next trigger event. Is it, is it disease X? Is it financial collapse? Is it World War Three? What's your prediction for that next big thing that the regime drops on us to try to institute this totalitarian regime? Um, you know, I don't think they have to do any one thing anymore. <clears throat> they have Americans so primed to be afraid. We're waiting for the next prompt. Like, okay, for example, look at what happened in Miami. What happened in Miami? What happened? We don't know. We don't know. Like that mall with aliens that had every cop in Florida responding because teenagers were playing with fireworks. And we're like, well, if it had been fireworks, there would have been a live stream. They're teenagers. Like, we would have seen it, but we haven't seen anything, right? And my point is here, like we can joke about aliens and this, that, and the other, but like we're watching planes catch on fire in midair and nobody's batting an eye. Doors flying off of Boeing. And everybody goes, eh. and and CEOs are twerking in drag and like people keep saying like, all right, the underground Chinese lab that they just found in California, an yeah. illegal Chinese immigrant working for the CCP had... Ebola had uh, like every deadly disease you could imagine underground in California. And this is the same time we find Jew tunnels in New York. Yeah. Here's what they're doing is they're just coming out. They're coming out and Americans are like, this is weird. I guess I'm just going to keep my head down and pay my bills and hope this passes over. But it's not going to pass over. It's going to run you over. That's what's right. going to happen. And there's no blood you can put over your doorpost for this. If you do not stand up wow. like Sean Strickland did in Canada, we need more. If you do not stand up and say enough is enough. And men, I'm talking to you. You've let feminists run, run this game for too long. And all we need is for men to stand up and say, cut it out. And women will have to cut it out because guess what? We're not stronger than you. We're not.
I know a lot of you have been convinced of this, but we're not. And so if you just stood up and said, enough is enough, the men are back in charge, everybody cut the crap, the, ca the crap would be cut. And I think this, guys, Ooh! when I tell you, do it. You want to meet a woman of your dreams? You want to meet a woman of your dreams? Show her who's boss. That's all we're waiting for. And it's that <laughs> so win win. Angel doesn't have a watch. <laughs> so repeal the 19th Amendment. Let's go, boys. You ain't lying. That's my girl. That's my girl. Look, Angel, I got to let you go. But um, give us.